Hey, so welcome back to my channel. Um, I know it's been about a month, a little over a month since my last upload. Um, um, as the title states, I'm actually here just to do a summary of my experience with the brace that I'm wearing now. I am not a professional uh, weaveologist. I don't know. I can't get into, you know, go into depth about these things. Um, the only thing that I could, my knowledge only goes as far as it's convenient. I get to sleep in an extra 20 30 minutes in the morning I don't get out of bed to do my hair and yeah um, my only the only downside that I have and it's not about the hair it's about the price is it me or is crochet braiding as almost expensive as getting individuals actually I would say I would like to say that it's more expensive because at least if you're doing the individual braiding, they supply the hair. And it may not be the quality of hair that you would like, but they would still, that includes the hair that they have. Whereas the crochet braids, you always have to purchase your hair prior to going. So I want to say that crochet braids going to a shop is actually kind of more expensive than individuals. But, okay, whatever. Um, I decided against the individuals because my hair is so fine and soft, especially around... Um, my edges my perimeter and it's just way too much the hair is way too heavy um, and it's just too harsh on my hair to do the individuals I love the way they look but it's just with my hair texture I just it's too it's too much to, um, to keep the upkeep because I have to you know it's it's too much because you know I'm always concerned about my edges saying you know <laughs> I don't know going the way of the dodo bird I just don't want to have to deal with that so I said okay I would stick with the crochet braids one because it's convenient um, it's easier it takes less time and I it's less uh, it's less tension on my hair because it's not just one one section of hair with this heavy braid I you know it's the weight is spread out all over so I that's why that's why I prefer crochet braids okay so I'm actually wearing the free tress braided a uh, single twist in small and of course these are crochet braids and as usual going to the beauty supply store they never have they rarely have enough in one color so I think this is a one this is a four and I think and two and let me take this out so you can see the hair so hopefully you're able to see that and just basically how it comes packaged honestly well, you know how crochet braids come how they look now obviously this is a different brand than the brand that I used before um, can I say that this is better or worse absolutely not like I said I'm not really that I mean to me braids are braids um, so I'm not going to get into as far as the quality, as far as I'm concerned, I, I don't see a difference in the quality. Again, to me, braiding is braid. Um, uh, braids are braids. So, the video is a lot later than I anticipated um, because it's actually July 25th and I've had them in over a month and I'm actually going to take them out on this coming Saturday because I have a couple of trips. I have three trips pr um, planned. Um, for throughout the year so far I'm going to be in London first international trip I'm going to be in London in August I'm going to be in Paris for a few days in November and I'm going to spend New Year's in Toronto in Canada so uh, but for my upcoming trip in August I want to have my hair obviously freshly done so I'm going to actually take these out this coming Saturday and just give my hair a break for a week or so and get it done the weekend before my trip which of course I will um, actually discussed uh, discuss I'm going to be actually be in London for about five days and I'm going to try to record as much as I can each day and upload a daily a daily vlog one because it cuts down on the editing and the editing time and trying to you know photograph and record five you know days worth of material and trying to condense it into uh, a and condense it into a video that's going to be kind of entertaining and capture everything that you want to capture capture during your trip and it's just going to be way too much work to try to edit uh, uh, that much footage and so I'm going to try to upload daily it's I'm going to try to upload daily for all of my trips I want to be in these locations for a few days so I'll try to upload as much as I can and capture as much as I can 
um, for <laughs> those of you who watch my videos if you're in London you know please leave recommendations as far as where you know the hot spots or where you think places that I should um, check out during my visit and the same for those of you in Paris and of course the same for those of you in Toronto I guess I'm gonna be in Toronto for New Year's so I am actually and I'm looking forward to all of my trips I'm actually in the process of planning which is why I have been uploading as much just making sure I get all my paperwork and you know get my passport and all of that other stuff together so I seem to have everything on the ball and I'm actually looking forward to uh, my upcoming trips so and I'm actually looking forward to many more my goal is to get out more and travel more um, the goal, my sister's supposed to be my travel buddy I don't know how that's gonna work out so I'm actually planning to have, take these trips uh, if I have to solo, which I'm looking forward to because of course I've done a lot of research and I've been all over YouTube looking at looking up solo travelers and what to expect and what um, and just basically their experience traveling alone. So I'm excited, kind of nervous, but excited um, to visit new places and have um, new experiences. So yeah and i will take you guys along with me and hopefully it'll be enjoyable <laughs> um, for all but yeah i just wanted to show you my hair because like i guess i only have like a few six days left before i actually pull these out and i wanted to do the video earlier but as I stated, a lot of things have been going on. If you have any recommendations, so, like I said, I'm going to stick with crochet and braids. So if you have any recommendations as far as the hair type, style, uh, the brand, uh, where you purchase your hair, um, quality, please leave that in the comment section because I have no idea. To me, like I said, hair is hair, braid is a braid. Um, I can't really tell the difference from one <laughs> from because it's just it's a braid. It's not like it's out. So I really, a, a braid is a braid. So, um, I do have some videos planned because I do have some new uh, makeup, some uh, new foundations that um, I want to try out. And I'm actually, I'm not wearing a foundation. I'm actually, I went back to Old Faithful, which is the Sonia Keshek BB Cream. Not, uh, not BB Cream, Tinted Moisturizer and Tan. So, that's what I'm actually wearing now. So, if those of you, who, those of you who are familiar with this brand, you could also leave your recommendation, your comments in the comment section. Yeah, um, the pros, the cons, um, and what you think of this particular uh, brand or their their tinted moisturizer or foundation. Because I did see they have a number of uh, they had foundations as well, but I didn't have time to try to figure out and do the matching and all that other stuff. I didn't want to do all that. So <laughs> I'm babbling at this point. Um, like I said, thank you for um, viewing my content. Thank you for all of my new subscribers. And I look forward to taking you guys along um, on my future excursions. <laughs> so um, have a nice day and I will see you guys in the next video.